You guys are about to see one of my absolute favorite dinners. I could eat this more than just once a month. My name is Vanessa and today I am sharing smothered pork chops in the crock pot. Um, I went back and forth through a different, couple different recipes until I found the flavors that I really enjoyed. Um, this is not a favorite for my entire family, so I only have it about once a month, but it is my favorite. Exactly how it's going to be plated up for you guys, everything that I share that I made to go with it. One of my favorite dinners, hands down. And I could have sworn that I had already shared this, but I only shared it on Instagram. So I was like, you know what? I have to film this because it's just, I think it's that good. I love this recipe so much. So I'm excited to share it with you guys today. So first up, I've got one tablespoon of olive oil heating up in my pan. And then I've opened up my pork chops. And again, it's just to taste. So I'm going to sprinkle the top with the paprika, the garlic powder, pepper, and salt. And I'm going to get these this side down, season side down, into my pan. While these are heating up, um, I'm gonna cook them for about three minutes per side, but now I'm going to season the other side with the same seasonings, the salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. So that is three minutes on one side. Now I've got my timer for three minutes on the other side. And meanwhile, I did slice up my onion. And I'm just gonna take these slices over to my crock pot and just set them all over the bottom of the crock pot so they so all the other ingredients we're going to be putting on top of these. So I'm just gonna get these all set out however you want them. And they're going to cook right on the bottom. Okay, now that the pork chops are done, they're seared, I'm just gonna take them out and place them in my crock pot on top of the onions. And hopefully you guys can hear me a little better now because that induction plate definitely gets pretty loud. The fan is super loud on there. But if you didn't, it's just three minutes per side for the pork chops. And now we're getting them into our crock pot because this is where everything is going to finish cooking. We are not done with this pan though. There is a lot of flavor still in here. So I'm going to get all of my jars in here. The cream of chicken, the cream of mushroom. I love all these flavors together. It makes a really yummy gravy. And the entire can of beef broth. And you're just gonna use a whisk and mix that all together. Make sure you are scraping the bottom to get all those bits off of there that cooked when you were searing the pork chops. All right, so we're not actually cooking it or anything like that. We are now going to take our gravy mixture and pour it on top of the pork chops and the onions in the crock pot. Let's get our lid on and now for cooking. So if you're starting this in the morning, you're going to cook it on low for seven to eight hours. However, I am starting this at lunchtime. So I'm just gonna cook it on high for three to four hours. <sighs> Best thing hands down about crock pot dishes, your house smells amazing. So pork chops are done. Like I said, you could cook them on low seven to eight hours or high three to four, which is what I did. I started this around lunchtime and now it is dinner. I've already got my plate ready. I need to make the kiddos plates, but this is what we are having it with. I love having these smothered pork chops over orzo, which is like a rice noodle, super yummy. And then on the side, these are just green beans with some almonds, butter, and garlic that I cooked together in the skillet. I actually have both of these recipes on my Instagram stories as highlighted stories, so they're saved there forever. If you guys just wanna see the quick version of the pork chops or the green beans as well, super easy and yummy. So we are going to dig in. Okay, so if you've had anything similar to this or if you make this, let me know down below what you guys think. I'm always curious to see what taste buds are you know, rolling around out there and how similar they are to mine, but I cannot say this enough. I love 
the pork chops over orzo with those green beans. So good. And it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to make it. So I had to share it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you love crock pot recipes and want to see more, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That lets me know and subscribe if you are new because I would love to have you join my channel. I upload something every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and every Saturday is a grocery haul. Bye guys.